This is the video on how to set up a voting and polling campaign. So when you log into your client's marketing center, you're going to go to the campaign manager view side, go to campaigns, voting slash polling, click create to create a new one, name the campaign up top, in the keyword box, this is where you're going to select a keyword that the customers will opt into to get the voting and polling on their phone. In the welcome text box, this is the box where you could give them a little more introduction to the, the question they're about to be asked. So you could say, you know, something like, welcome to Jerry's Pizza Place. Um, thank you for answering our questionnaire or thank you for participating in our voting and polling campaign. You do not have to put anything in this box if you don't want to though. In the lead text box, this is where we're going to put the actual question that, they, that we want them to answer. If you click the send results, this will send the results back to the customer's phone so they will know how many people have replied A, B, C, or D um, to the question. And then you can put as many options in the box as you would like, A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever you would like to do. And we'll put our, our options over on this side under the value. And you can add as many of these options as you would like with uh, keeping in mind that you have, it'll tell you the remaining characters you have. So if you go over 160 characters, it's going to go out as a second text in a second text message. In the reply message box, this is where we are going to, you know, confirm and say thank you for participating in our voting and polling question. We can give them a coupon for participating or an, you know, some kind of um, prize for participating in our questionnaire. The reply message to box is simply a rollover box. If you run out of room in this first one, you can use the second one and it will go out as a second text message. Under the advanced features tab, you will see that we can capture email addresses from our customers uh, with this kind of campaign. So if we enable this, e enable email capture, we would have to say somewhere in here in the reply message after they they finish um, voting, we, we could say, please reply with your email address. To receive your 20% off coupon or something like that. When they reply with their email address, we capture that in the platform and you could find it in the reporting section. And so it's a way for your, for your client to grow their uh, email database as well as their uh, mobile database and send out promotions to their emails, to the email addresses. Um, and this email capture reply box, this is where we would say thank you for your email. Here is your coupon or something along those lines. And then if we want to save this and have it, uh, when we're done setting this up, you can save it and it will be live forever until you delete it. Or you could click the save and schedule button and pick a start date and an end date for this specific campaign. This has been the video on how to set up a voting and polling campaign. Thank you very much.